Yo, throw the ball, little man. I ain't going to take it. Little Chris, tell this fool I ain't going to take his ball. I got enough money to buy me a hundred balls. Shit. Man, I told you not to bring that ball. Thanks, cuz. Yo, dog. Yeah, let's go. Throw the ball. Man, you stupid. Don't have no sense. Told you not to bring that ball. Wait till I tell mama. Shut up. I don't care. Tell mama. <laughs> Y'all leaving? <laughs> Hell no. Hey, give me my brother's ball back. Hey, give me my Welcome back to the stage of history. Yo, what up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's all my men doing this evening? How's all my real retainers out in the building doing this evening? I hope your body is filled with energy, bro. And you out here just a glowing man. All right. <laughs> Living the life that all these people out here really wish that they could be on. That's why they all got retention in their mouth. Look, I'm here today, man, to talk about somebody that we all know, okay, very well, okay? And I have some questions. This ain't no hate video, all right? I have some questions, bro, all right? I am the man over here been holding it down in the retention community, and it seems like people think they could just come in and out, bro, all right? with a retention free card bro wow. all right and talk about subjects that they are not even living okay this is the type of stuff man that's been annoying me about youtube you guys briefly heard me speak about it in the last stream i was talking about how people can just come on here bro say the word retention the algorithm picks up now all of a sudden <laughs> they got all of these people who really want to know about retention for real, for real, all right, following somebody who has no intentions of truly living this lifestyle, okay? And this is what I've seen since the very beginning. I've always been a serious one, fellas, okay? That's me. <laughs> that's, that's the king, bro. I'm always the serious one, bro, because somebody got to be serious out of the crew, all right? And this is why they make you the leader. Let's just look at uh, Leonardo, for example. He's serious. He doesn't goof around. He's the leader. Now you guys see, all right, my actions and how I move. All right. So I take great responsibility, all right, for the things that I put out in this community because I am one of the people who actually have done this. Okay. I've never said I was going to stop. I've never done anything like that. I've never swayed from my information. Okay. The last time that I talked, you know, commented on some videos of HTO, I don't remember how long ago it was. So excuse me if I'm incorrect, but I believe it was well over a year ago. All right. And the last time I watched his videos, he said from his own mouth that he was no longer talking about retention anymore. This is what he said out of his whole mouth, making me feel, trying to make me feel some kind of way, trying to make the community feel some type of way. He wanted a reaction, bro. He said he's not talking about it no more. But HTO, you built your whole channel, bro, on semen retention. What, what? do you mean you're not talking about it no more? Okay. What do you mean, bro, that you're not talking about it no more? All right. And then you dip off. 
your channel disappears. Not once, not twice. Okay. So my thing is this, brother. How are we expected to take what you're saying seriously? Kevin! You make four minute videos, bro. <laughs> no disrespect. I'm not clowning, bro. But I'm just showing you on how majority of the people get bamboozled, bro. Okay. And to people who produce content that's not a hundred percent authentic. Okay. HTO is an entertainer, bro. All right. And this is no disrespect. He is. He's got a gift for entertainment. He can keep your attention. But you must understand, bro. My guy is not walking this journey. Okay. He never walked this journey seriously. Never. Okay. Ask him. Never, bro. He's had retention just like everybody else. Little spells here and there. Okay. But my guy hasn't gone in a substantial amount of time on retention. So my thing is this. I've been here before HTO. Okay. This isn't a compare your bigger stick. I'm just telling the facts. Okay. He got picked up by the algorithm early on and blew up. Okay. And he decided to make his channel about semen retention. Okay. After he made his channel about semen retention, I don't know what happened. He got too famous that he didn't want to make videos or something no more. I don't know what happened. He disappeared and he, he took away his channel. So let me ask you guys a question. I want some real truths here. Okay. And a lot of you listen to my man HTO. I listen to HTO, but I'm letting you know the difference between somebody, all right, who is authentically doing something and not. Okay. My guy, my man is a entertainer. He's not a retainer, bro. Okay. There's been plenty of people that have come in and out of the semen retention community and have done just that. And all they have served, okay, to us as is a distraction. All right. Cause what's now going to happen? Now you're going to be over there indulging in content, bro. All right. That has absolutely no feeling of the soul. You're getting entertained, bro. <laughs> You're not getting no real retainers energy and experiences. You're getting what you're getting on YouTube now because this is what your likes, this is what your views show. It shows you where you're at and your vib vibrational frequency chart, all right, as an audience, okay, as subscribers on YouTube, because your views and your likes tell the truth about what it is that you want to see. So if you are watching stuff like this, okay, and you are watching it purely off of an entertainment value, okay, where did you learn anything? Where did you feed your soul? So basically all you've done is wasted your time. Okay. And this is what I'm trying to point out to you. I know I'm not going to be able to reach all of you because most of you are, you're, you're, you're the 99%. Well, I'm talking to a few percent over here, you guys. Okay. The 99% is going to continue to keep doing what they're doing because they're zombies. We've proven that in, in so many different ways, okay? Just by the simple fact that they have no life force energy, the simple fact that what they're eating in their diet, we've talked about this. We know the 99% are zombies. That's why they can't hear this information and change, okay? Change is so easy, right? Then why aren't these people doing it? Why are most of the people feeding into this type of information, this type of entertainment why are you trying to make something as serious as this an entertainment factor? And I've noticed this is what YouTube is good at promoting because they want to give you the entertainment factor. They don't want you to learn nothing. They don't want you to feed your soul. They don't want you to grow. They want you to laugh and giggle. They want you to go watch somebody, bro who is merely there to entertain you and not give you true food for thought on the message. Sure, he can make mess uh, videos about plenty other things, but retention is not one of them if you ain't walking it, bro.
And this goes for any one of y'all. Okay. It's okay to say it. It's okay to say it. All right. But if you're not out here walking something, why are you being a poser, bro? We don't like posers, bro. Okay. That is not a cool term. Just in case y'all don't know what that is. Okay. You don't want to be a poser, bro. You don't need to come into different communities because you use your entertainment factor, all right, to wow the masses who are all sleep zombies and who are going to eat videos and information like that up. All right. We're talking about four minute videos that you got. I don't get what you guys, all right, are looking for as far as trying to create growth in your life because you're not going to learn anything in four minutes. All right. Is that because you have a, a, a short attention spans? Maybe he knows something that most of us don't know. The simple fact of the matter is, guys, all right, your views, your likes, all right, dictate what the algorithm is showing people. And when you guys are disappearing like fanned out fanboys, okay, to somebody who is inconsistent. Listen, I'm not, this isn't a bashing ceremony. I'm just telling you the facts, player. Somebody that's inconsistent. Why, why are you drawing some kind of connection with that? Why are you still living in the past? You are proving to me that there you have no growth. There is plenty of other people in this community that you could look up to. There's plenty of other people in this community who have a message to give you, something to feed your soul. But you guys want to be entertained. You want to laugh and giggle. You want to have fun. Again, taking the learning factor, okay, away from your time that you're giving that you will never give in back. Instead, you choose to blow it just like you blow your seed. You have no control over your life and you're seeing it. I'm not telling you to hate anybody. I'm telling you to look at your situation and what it is that you're trying to achieve and trying to become and look what you're entertaining with your energy. You don't understand what I'm saying. You need to leave right now. This is way to hell over your head and you don't need to be here. You guys need to move forward. Okay. You guys need to put your energy, bro where you are going to receive something back. There is almost an even exchange. As a retainer, you know what it is. You listen to the Shave Line King. You listen to Danta Young. You listen to Damo the Spook. You listen to TC Talks. You listen to all of these dudes, bro, who come up here and tell you what it really is because we've been on here really doing this, man. And yet you still are showing us, bro. All right. Where you still want to reside with your energy. That is some loose S H I T fellas. All right. There ain't nothing like going over there and showing you love saying, what up, bro? Congrats. All right. But for something that's always been inconsistent and you put your energy towards it shows me where you are at. Okay. And again, I'm not bashing nobody. This is a, I want you to think about what you're doing discussion because I don't understand it. I don't understand it from the subscriber standpoint, and I definitely don't understand it from HTO standpoint. It makes zero sense. You're polluting the community. It's unauthentic. It's not genuine. There is plenty of other things that these gentlemen could be standing free in their own comfort talking about, but they want to dive back into this community again, okay, and leave. Bro, I don't care what you guys say. If that's not loose to you, if that is not loose to you, I don't care what you say. If that is not loose to you, you are a fanned out fanboy. Wow. That is loose, bro. And you guys keep playing, keep playing, keep playing.
Y'all are, man, it lets me know where y'all at. Stop watching me, bro. I ain't for you, man. Because I'm wanting you to make a complete 180 in your life. Instead, y'all are going backwards. These people got to catch up with you. These people got to catch up with us. But yet you going backwards with your energy. I am not going to stand for it. I am going to do the same thing with any other person that I know or I've watched. All right. That is showing this type of behavior in this community. Okay. Because this is what we're trying to weed out. This is a place where people are going to come on here, bro. All right. And they're going to deal with real people in the real time, living the real life. And if you're not in any one of those categories, then you're a capper, you're a poser. And that's what I'm standing on. And you should too, because it's the facts. So when I see you guys running around like little fanboys, bro, jumping backwards in your journey, when you've been messing with the king, bro, for years, consistently living the life. This is where y'all want to put y'all energy. On a, on a topic such as retention. When we talking about all the top people in the world who did this were superstars with consistency. <laughs> You could see their pedigree, but yet you guys are going to act like fanboys over people who just come in this community who have entertainment factor and swag. This is, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Okay. And I've never understood it, bro. I've never understood it. Okay, because there's been so much inconsistency with since the since I first start watching my man, okay, till now. All right. And I'm just saying, bro, I for the simple fact that you guys <laughs> man, look, I'm gonna end it at that, bro. Okay. Cause it, it clearly shows, bro, who's really out here about their business. Okay. Because if you was really out here about your business, all right, you'd be conducting yourself, bro, in a way more professional manner. I'm just confused, bro, on where y'all put y'all energy, man. Okay. Because like I said, it wouldn't even be an issue. All right. If, if you guys really, really were on this journey, you would be able to see what I'm telling you. Nothing that I've said is out of bounds. I'm telling you the facts, bro. And as a person over here, bro, who many of you look up to, bro, all right, as one of the forefathers of this thing over here, okay, as far as being in this community, okay, and you know what I mean, what kind of community I'm talking about, okay, as far as this community, okay, one of them, I was here before HTO, bro, okay, so it's okay that y'all are sitting here hollering your man and you like him and that's cool. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You need to stop with the Google goggles, okay, and see what you're being shown, okay? Because you're supposed to take what people show you, all right? And for my man to say that he was never, I'm, I'm hanging off of his words. I'm not sitting here making nothing up. You can't come at me for shit on this video because I'm telling you what he said. I was in on the video. He said that he would never talk about this ever again. He made it seem like it was corny. He made it seem like you were, you were a square. And he built this whole channel on this. He disappeared again, bro. Now he come back with a whole another channel and now it's retention again. So that's all I'm telling y'all, man. Okay. I want you guys to really understand. Most of you probably don't understand what's going on. And I'm just basically giving you the breakdown of what happened. Okay. And why, you know, of when I made that video originally, it was showing you the character back then. 
you're showing me, bro, all right, that you still are finding an entertainment factor in retention school, okay? <laughs> Where you're supposed to be on your best version, all right, learning how to be Superman, okay? You signed up for the elite classes that you can only sign up for once. There's no failures. You fail, you're out. You never get back in again. And this is what you guys are doing. Stop getting distracted by things out here that are not feeding your soul, okay? It's okay to show support, okay? But when you start to get lost in people, bro, that have not showed you consistency, bro, all right? You are going backwards, all right? You are supposed to be moving forward, bro, all right? Moving backwards like that is going to help. It's going to keep you in a cycle, bro, where if this person starts to sway with their emotions, guess what? You're going to start to sway with your emotions. You think I'm capping. All right. This is what happens when you pay all your attention. All right. To something that's not feeding your soul with positivity and consistency. Okay. Because you're going to get let down one day. One day you're going to be watching it. And the next thing you know, this person's going to disappear without a trace. No buy, no ho hope you had a good day, no nothing. Just disappear ghost. And y'all are okay with that. Bro, stop. Stop thinking that stuff like that is okay, man. Okay, because it's not. All right. There's no disrespect to HTO. There's no disrespect. Okay, I'm just telling you the facts. And, and I have to identify what I've been seeing. A lot of you will never even step forward and say this is the truth because you know it's the truth, but you won't say nothing about it. You're just cool with it. Okay. I told you, I'm not playing no more games, bro, over here in the retention community. Uh, this, is re this is the reason I created the semen retention reactions because I'm going to react to anything that I feel is either good or out of bounds. Okay. And this is what I'm going to continue to do. Okay, if there's somebody else that I catch on to that's doing the same thing, I'm going to come on here and do the exact same thing. Okay, because I'm going to point out, bro, what you need to see, which you should already be seeing. But since most of y'all are not on the retention journey, I have to show you. Okay, I have to show you so you can understand what I'm saying. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys, man. I'm about to dip up out of here, man. I appreciate you guys for coming in here tonight. Again, this is not a bashing video. Don't get it twisted. Go back and listen to what I said and ask yourself, would you be trusting somebody like that? Hell no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Bro, come on, man. I don't. I know I don't got to convince nobody on this video. All right. That is some suspect behavior, bro. All right. And if you think that you're going to be cool with somebody like that, use a clown, bro. All right. Wow. Use a fanned out fanboy. And you need to wake up. All right. So I appreciate you guys, man. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. You guys have a good night, man. Peace, fellas. I will not stay. Even if I must sacrifice my life.